Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back in House Flipper for the new houses that were added for the Chinese New Year in the Cyberpunk DLC which now gives us three houses in that so the two that you've just seen on screen that we've already done so this is the third one, one we haven't been to yet a room for enhancements at £85,000 New Year, New Me is a motto of Neo Beijing citizens who love cyberware, or basically anything new me, frankly speaking. So, uh, maybe a new apartment new me? This one seems nice. Okay, so for some reason I thought this was all going to be like Neo Tokyo, but it's saying it's all Neo Beijing, so that's interesting, isn't it? Is that because they wanted it to be different, or is there a reason for that being Neo Beijing? If anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so this is an interesting looking one. Looks like we've got a big high ceilinged main room. Yeah, this is it, look. A huge high ceilinged main room. That, I don't think we're going to redecorate this room because if you want to redecorate this, you're going to have to have scaffolding it. It's going to take you a really long time to change it. So I think we might keep most of that. And then, right, so we're in a tiny little entranceway which, oh, leads straight into this big open plan room, cool. So that door then is the exit, yep. Right, so we're in an apartment in a, one of these high-rise pla high places. <laughs> There's got to be light switches somewhere, haven't they? It's this light dark grey, I think we want to maybe change that a bit. Yeah, so everything's pretty dark with just the highlight spotlights until we start turning things on. Oh wait, we weren't in the room. You can't see the lights unless you're actually in the room, can you? No, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be turning on. Or is it because I'm at the top? Oh. See, this could be a little bit of a strange room because the way the game sections things, maybe we can't see the lights that that switch is turning on while we're still on the stairs. Do you know what, I think we'll systematically start doing a bit of a clean up. So on this top floor we've just got a kitchen. And it's a very long like galley type kitchen, isn't it? You could change that and make half of it a kitchen and to do your cooking and half of it a small dining space. It would have to be a tiny table though, wouldn't it? Or I don't know that you could even really add islands because it's such a narrow space. I think you could fit a tiny table if you took a few of the units out. But you'd have to be careful that you didn't block the walkways, wouldn't you? It's very messy. But do you know what? I think the infrastructure of it is pretty good. If we just give this a clean, I think we can probably keep everything that's in there. So if you just want to do a real minimal makeover, just give it a bit, a bit of a clean. And then you could probably leave the room as is. Oh, that looks so much better already. Just a little bit of a clean. Yeah, look how much better that is. Yeah, so you probably could just clean this and then flip it, at least in this room, because the infrastructure, all the units and everything are in really good condition. Because those, those marks on those cabinets are intentional, that's not a, a damage thing. If you buy them from the shop, they look exactly the same. So we'll get rid of the cups and plates and things, because there's only one or two, so it looks a little odd, or them only being like that few number of items and they're all mix and match, so... Yeah, look at that. That's a huge improvement. That looks beautiful already. I do want to paint the hallway, and I think I might change some of the tiling in the kitchen to make it look a little bit brighter. Right, so that turns those on. So the, the light at the top here probably turns these hexagon, hexagons in the higher section of the wall on, but it's, it's kind of difficult to see it. Actually, it says turn off, turn off, so I don't think we're at that switch is actually doing anything. Now, strange. Right, so those hexagons at the top are on if you higher up in the room, so yeah, it's his section in it a little bit. That's a tiny bit unfortunate, you can't see all the lighting in different areas of it. So, we've got those big ceiling lamps, but they're not really illuminating the bottom half of the room uh, because of the way it's sectioned. And the same as the, the paintings on the wall look, they're lit up, but you can only see it at the top of the stairs, so that's kind of sad. 
but it's just a limit of the game, isn't it, with opening these big scenes. When they first put it together, they weren't expecting in these double height places in there, were they? That was something they added later. It's not a big enough of a needle to be uh, complaining about, to be honest, because I just love the game. I think it's brilliant, and I love the fact that they're experimenting with things that the game wasn't really designed to do at the beginning. So these are really good condition tables, so you could keep these if you want a big workspace. I think we might keep one and sell the other one and then make one of them into like a dining room area in this big main room because the kitchen it might be a bit cramped to try and do it up there and with this big open space if you were entertaining people you'd want a, a big dining area in here to show off this beautiful room because a big two-story tall room in this neo Beijing area would mean that you're very rich and it's kind of a status symbol isn't it so you definitely want to show that off. So let's just keep cleaning. And lots of things on the floor. Let's get rid of the files. And then maybe we put some of the books on that shelf instead. And then any that we don't think fit we can probably sell. If I can get them to sit. Yeah, that's good. One more. And then these can go. Okay. None of the furniture matches, so I think we might change the seating. But we'll look for, for starters, we'll give everything a bit of a clean. Let's turn the lights on. Give that a bit of a clean. See, it does come clean, so you could leave it, but I think because everything doesn't match, I think we'll change it. I'm not sure that I like that rug either. This TV, let's illuminate everything that we can. I think we definitely want to add more lighting in this room. Um, is there space for books? Right, oh, some of these are individual items. Oh, yeah, these are all individual books, so we'll just move a few across. I'm not going to sit here and move the entire stack, but we'll just put a few in. Ooh, grab that. Grab one of those. That wasn't the top one I picked. That's interesting. Right, so keep. Uh, let's sell the ones that are left on the floor. I think that looks fine as is. Yeah, they're definitely all individuals. Look at that. Yeah. A bit more cleaning. Some more boxes. Oh, there's one under the table. Can we get that? Oh yeah, there's another one under the table. We have to go round a little bit further to be able to reach that there. Um, I don't know whether to keep the newspaper at this point or not. Are the bottles? Right, so can we get that box? Can we have a bottle? Oh, yeah, we can get the box. Right, I think that's all the boxes from under the tables. I think we've cleaned it. Let's open up and see that. Oh, look at that. Nice. Really have made a beautiful piece of scenery outside with all this neon lighting and fireworks and everything. Oh, wait a minute. Pineapple. Wait, is that the alley? Down there, look. Is that Lantern Alley? There, look, between the two buildings, down below the pineapple. The alley there. Is that the alley that we had our little, like, shop and tiny apartment in? I think it might be, you know. Yeah, look, cause if you look at the signs. Yeah, I think it is, right down there, look. That's where our, our little shop in the alleyway place was. Oh, yeah, yeah, there, look, alleyway of lights, all the lantern and things. I bet I like our little places down there, in there. Oh, nice. I like that link. Right, let's find the light switch. Yeah, everywhere's so dark, all this dark wallpaper. I think we need to add a little bit more colour into this apartment. Oh, my gosh, so much mess. How can people live in all this mess? I mean, it's it's not just messy, it's leftover empty cans and food containers and things. So it's just so easy to, to get rid of those. Right then. I mean, there's not cleaning up after yourself and then there's not cleaning up after yourself. And this is really the extreme not cleaning up after yourself, isn't it? <laughs> Right, let's get rid of these cans, those books, these cans. Bit more clean. Oh, I don't want that poster yet. Bit more cleaning. So 
this is probably a one bedroom flat then, isn't it, again? And we've just got one door, so that's got to be a bathroom, right? Let's straighten the carpet a bit. E yeah, like that, I think. Show the pattern a bit more. There we go, right. It's got to be a bathroom. Yes, bathroom. Right, okay, so we've got a kitchen. Great big, huge feature, main living space area, a single bedroom and a bathroom. It's actually a really decent sized flat for the sort of environment that we're living in here. This has got to be a kind of an expensive place to live. There we go. Right, we're going to change the mirrors. But this is the brightest room in the house because we've got a lot of white in here. So this particular room probably isn't going to need a lot of work. I'm just checking there's nothing in the cupboards. Right. Got shelves and drawers. Okay. So they've left us a couple of towels that look clean in here as well. That's the new design towels, isn't it? Let's move that look back just a, a little. Yeah, they're quite pretty, those, aren't they? Can we, um... Where were they going to be? Are they going to be under bathroom access? Oh, yeah, there they are, look. Oh, yeah, lots of different ones, look. Lint, bright lint, the dock. Lint folded. There you go, so they're all added at the beginning, look. So you can buy them in stacks, or you can buy them in individual ones, and you can have different sizes. Oh, right, okay. I think that might be the... Similar to what we've already got here, isn't it? So we could add more, I suppose, just to see what it's like. Maybe play around with the colours just a little bit and see what the... Um, yeah, do you know, I think it might be the small one, I'm not sure. There are probably other different sizes, because the two that are on the counter are already different sizes. So, visually this looks kind of similar. Oh, it's much smaller, look. Right, okay, so that one on the left is probably the large. Let's have a look. So that's the large, is it? Let's have a see. Yes, yeah, so that's the large size. So the one on the right is the medium, then. Oh, look, they've got different patterns, like the hexagons and lines and mottled and proper patterns and things. Oh, that's the thing. They've got lots of options there. That's really cool. Oh, that's even got flowers, up. Oh, yeah, so they match the... Some of them match the cyberpunk theme, and then some of them match some of the older styles with the flowers and things. So, yeah, we can use those everywhere. Lots and lots of different colours. Look at those. Loads of different colours. You could spend ages playing around with those, just looking at all the different colours, couldn't you? Right, so if I move that further back, maybe we can get one of the small ones so that we can like compare the three different sizes because I'm assuming that that cream one is the medium so if we grab white and red uh, yeah let's try that there you go look so those are the three sizes then so small medium and large so that's nice isn't it because there's, there's lots and lots of different colors and patterns look oh yeah that's cool very nice addition, that one. Right, let's not get carried away with towels. We need to renovate, don't we? So we'll definitely need to get rid of the mirrors and we need to find a new mirror. So mirrors aren't in this bathroom section, are they? They're on a, on a separate um, under decorations, aren't they? Right, what else do we want to add in here? See, that looks kind of in keeping with this theme look because it's like a patterned container isn't it so that's a soap container that, that matches our colour scheme doesn't it quite nicely right let's get rid of these broken mirrors so we want something that fits on the wall here now so let's just have a double check here is there anything else we want to add Oh, yeah, we probably want to add one of these, don't we? I don't think there was one on there. No, there isn't. And that, the gold actually matches this colour scheme quite nicely as well. So, mirror is the main thing now, I think. I think it's under decorations, isn't it? 
Yeah, decorations. Yeah, mirror. Decorations, mirrors, right. Is there anything new? I don't think there's anything new, is there, under mirrors? So the circular one might be quite nice. Oh, look, we could do the frame in different colours, don't we? So, hmm, maybe a pink edge with a yellow. How's that? Hmm. And it lights up in itself as well. I kind of like that idea. Alright. Do we really need to add anything else to that? I don't think we do. I think that that's pretty much okay as is. Minimalist, but comfortable towels. Kind of luxurious luxury towels. So, shall we work on the bedroom next? So those are the new lights, those big, like, multi-spot lights. And then even with all those light bulbs, it still seems very dark in here, doesn't it? I mean, we are at night outside, but that's to show up all the lights. Um, but everything just feels so dark, doesn't it? Let's turn all the lights and things on that we can find. Just to try and make it that little bit lighter. Everything's so dark. Right, we definitely need to add more colour. But we want a nicer chair for our computer area. And I quite like these salumi for this kind of theme area as well. Do we want to go dark? I think we want to go dark because the cabinets and things are all dark. So we want the chair to match, don't we? But that just looks so much better than the little chair that we just got rid of. Especially in this kind of swish swanky high-end apartment. Mm. I'm not sure we want all that dark. See, we've got some nice brown furniture over this side. Though, to be honest, that doesn't match. I like the wardrobe, and I don't like these. Not sure about that drawer unit, that, that little shelvy drawer unit, either. I think we want some of the, more of the brown furniture for the bedroom to match the Knox wardrobe. That's the one we've already got, isn't it? So, if we look at the... Yeah, so if we pop in... The Knox wardrobe. Let's have the little golden handles on the the, the burned beach. Is the colour that we've got here? I think so. If we pop that in, see that looks so much better already. Um, not sure about the bed. Do we want to change the bed or do we keep that? Mm, there isn't a drawer unit that matches the Knox. So we, what we want to do is look for something that can match that and we're using the burned beach colour so what do we have that will not look out of place oh the lignum ones might work or the clifford ones oh now that might work yeah the clifford so if we go for beige handles and brazil not i think Yeah, that's going to work, isn't it? So it's, uh, I kind of feel like that black set of drawers just isn't right. Oh, that's much too big. Okay, that's not going to work. I kind of want something a different colour, I think. I just don't like that black little unit. It, it kind of doesn't fit what we're doing at the moment with the bedroom, though we are going to keep the computer desk, which again, kind of doesn't fit, but we're going to keep it because we're in this techie place and you need that little techie corner, don't you? So, what we need is like a little storage thing that will fit between the chest of drawers and the desk, but be quite, oh, the orange wooden chest of drawers. I think that's quite small. That might be a bit tiny, but maybe we could put more than one in. So let's try and match the colours a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably fit two of those, couldn't we? And that matches so much nicer. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we need to get rid of the black note, sell the black unit. Then pick up the orange wooden chest that we've just matched to our Brazil nut there. And we can put two of those in. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Just wondering whether to add more lights or whether to start painting. I do think we need to change at least some of this wallpaper for 
something else. I don't know whether we keep one wall or whether we change all of it. Hmm. <laughs> thinking, thinking, thinking. What should we go for? So it's this. That's the more Neo Beijing feel thing, isn't it? Though. I think white might be too much. We've already got these hexagons in the bathroom. Just trying to decide what I think is going to be the best thing to, to do here. Kind of want to stick with this n sort of cyberpunk theme stuff, but I don't want to make it too over the top. I quite like the orange. Hmm. See, I'm being a bit indecisive here. I usually try to be quite decisive about things and say, let's just go with it. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't work, then uh, it's a, a lesson to everybody not to do that. Right, so we're going to try the orange, I think, because that was my initial thought. And then I dithered about a bit, but let's let's go with it. So I think we will make one big wall a feature of this. And then we'll see if that's enough for the room or if we want to change more. We'll do it in little stages just to see how things change. See that already lifts the room and, it, and the cyberpunk thing is near to all of your technical equipment. So I kind of like that. But I still think the walls are too dark. So I think we should try and get rid of the darker bits I think now. So we'll go for a nice bright orange, yeah. So there's a fresh carrot orange. Now I'm thinking should I have gone for pumpkin. Do you know what? Um, I think... I think we'll go for the fresh carrot. See, always stick with your first thoughts because it usually ends up being the one you end up going back to. So we're going to start by painting out the black. So I'm using some really bright colours now. Let's do the little end wall. Add that bright, bright splash of colour around the window. Yeah. And do we go for it and do all of it? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Let's go for it. It's going to be great. I'm not convinced yet, but hopefully it's going to look great. It's certainly going to make it nicer and brighter and more inviting. I think it's just so dark in here. It's just a bit depressing, actually, with it being so dark. So I think we really need some, some, some brightness. And the big main living area, I really don't think we can redecorate because it's going to be such a big job that I don't really want to tackle that right now. I want to do makeovers that don't take, like, hundreds of episodes. I don't want them to be quite a short and compact at least when we do this first playthrough. I mean we can always come back and have another go later on and maybe we'll do the whole thing. But it, it's just going to be so much faffing about with the um, scaffolding and stuff. Why is that not painting? Oh oh wait actually oh look if you if you only do a light, a light cover look you can kind of paint the flock orange so that might be interesting. I don't think I've got the patience to, to just try and do that enough to not paint everything. I have to keep taking panels off to redo it. <laughs> but somebody might like to try having a go at something like that. Right, so. Do we, do we maybe use a bit of orange up here? I don't know. Maybe we do the whole way in the colour as well. Ooh, what do you think? Shall we do the whole... Let's do the whole way in this as well and see if it's too much. We can always redo it later, can't we? Oh, well, look, we might keep... That's that date wallpaper. We might keep that and just paint over the grey. 
That way it might not be completely overpowering if we keep one wall a different colour. I really don't like these grey panels, to be honest. I'm sure some other people are going to really like them, but I, don't, I just don't like them. Maybe if we could make them different colours be besides just grey, um, it would be better if it was like in a blue or a white or something. It, it just seems to be grey on grey and it, it's just a bit... No, I don't like it. Um, do we do the edge? Yeah, let's do the edge. Carefully paint the edge here. And we've got a beautiful splash of colour as you first come into the apartment. I like that. I think we might have to change the flooring here. So, what shall we use for the floor? Let's use... Oh, shall we use something outlandish and crazy? Um, let's see what we got that's crazy. We could use the brown tiles or the mosaic. But, ooh, that Persky Travertine. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever used that on a floor. Oh, wow, that is bright. Oh, we have made this room super bright. Look at that. Oh, we need to do the row by the door. Oh, wow, look how bright that is. Oh, now that's funky and crazy. Oh, I think that that's definitely cyberpunk. In my head it is anyway. I love that. I think that's crackers. I would never ever dare do something like that in real life. <laughs> I really want to use these Chinese lines, but I, they're supposed to be outside to guard your door, aren't they? Not inside. Oh, that's Bella Rose. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, bless fairy tales. Oh. Okay. Don't get distracted. Come on, Kitty. Don't get distracted. You were talking about lions. Yeah, um... I'd really like to use the guardian lines, but they're supposed to guard the entrance, aren't they, from the outside? And we don't have an outside, so we'd have to put them inside. How little are the little ones? Oh, look, they're so cute and dinky. Oh, bless. Maybe we could do that, and if, they, if they're, like, guarding the doorway there, would that work? Was that allowed? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be allowed. I think they're definitely supposed to be outside guarding the entrance, aren't they? But this is the closest to outside guard in the entrance that we've got, isn't it? I think the big ones would be far, far, far too big to put inside here. Let's have a look how big they are. Oh yeah, far too big to go inside here like this. I mean, you might fit them in if you rotated them and put them the after point into the house. If we move them across here, we probably won't keep the big ones, but I just want to see if you could squeeze them in, though. I know they're not supposed to... They're not really supposed to point inside, are they? But you could... You could squeeze them in, but I really think they're supposed to be outside, so... And they're, they're really too big for the space, so I think we'll keep the two little dinky ones and they'll can point at the doorway that way so that's the closest I think we can get to proper usage because we're only in an interior space. Bless, they're so cute. I think we could use a nice big painting, couldn't we? Or is there anything in the hanging decorations that's new with this house? I know there was a list of new things and I didn't really read it. Because I, I kind of like to experience finding things as we go. I don't think there's anything new in this section. I mean, maybe we could use some of these, like, geometric designs and things, but I don't think they're that big, so I think we might go for a, one of these um, holographic paintings. And if we kind of make it orangey, sandy white light and then orange yellow orange orange and how does that look it the mm, frame maybe blends in a little bit but yeah no, i will go with that hmm i kind of feel we need something else i mean there's minimalist and there's far too minimalist it's maybe a little place to sit and put your shoes on and off.
maybe a shoe rack or something would be quite nice in this area but I'm, I'm not sure about fitting it into too much clutter so yeah this sort of oriental, oriental low seating puffs quite nice for, for just being able to sit and deal with shoes especially if you've got things with buckles and laces and things yeah there's not really that much space for adding like a shoe tree which I kind of would like somewhere to put your shoes away but yeah I don't want to over overdo it right so this kitchen I do kind of want to keep the units that we've already got because I think it's too much to replace them all and I want to put like a seating area for dining in the big main room so I don't really want to add a table in here probably I'm thinking about maybe changing at least one of the walls to add a bit of contrast. Maybe if we use the state jacket wallpaper and the, the white and white and make... Mm, do we change it all or do we... Mm. Do we leave the brown on the two ends and put white on the two sides maybe? Let's put the white on one wall and then we might put it on the opposite wall and just keep the brown on the two ends. I'm not sure yet. Let's do one wall first and then we'll make the decision as to whether we do a second one. Yeah, so I like the idea of this galley kitchen staying as a big galley kitchen. So you've got plenty of space for cooking and entertaining. And then we'll have the dining room table downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do the two opposite walls in the white. So we'll keep the brown on the two end walls and we'll put the white panelling for the date jacket wallpaper on the big long walls for the galley space. I like the fact that we've got white and it looks bright and very, very clean in the kitchen space. I don't really like dark colours like browns and things in a kitchen because it it kind of makes you feel, I wonder if that's hiding anything, any dirt and stuff that's not clean properly. Whereas if it's all white, it's really obvious if there's any uncleanliness around. So I really like that idea. Not sure I like the red tiles on the floor though. But if we change them, what will we change them for? Do we want to go for something white? Or do we want to go for... Oh, you know what, we were looking at some of these mosaics before, weren't we? How about this, because it's got a bit of brown and it's got a, a bit of white in it and then it's got a little bit of colour as well. It's got blue, look. Mm, sort of got aquary blues, look. The kind of pulling the colours from the lights. Yeah, some of the, the sort of bluey colours have kind of matched the lights up. Yeah, I think that's going to work for us uh, quite well. So we want, what do we want? We want a few bits of extra equipment, don't we? I think we want a little bit more like electronic stuff in here, don't we? There's no microwave, is there? Um, what else are we missing? Yeah, so these are those units look, that we've got. The samurai dark cupboards, the ones that we've got in here already. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a lot of choice look there in the units. So you can go with the pale colours or the dark colours. They've gone for a lot for these pre-made houses with the dark colours. They haven't used the light ones, have they? That's interesting. Right, we've only got a little tiny space there. How about a bin? Hey, that hasn't searched for it, has it? Or has it? Oh, cabinet's got the weird bin in the cabinet. Oh, no. <laughs> He's found all the cabinets. Okay, what did you actually call them, guys? Metal trash bins. Right, okay. We found what we were looking for. Let's have the swingy one. Because that's black and white, so it matches our colour scheme. Ta-da! Right, so we've already got a coffee maker and a toaster, but they're not got the blue lights on them. They've just got red on. Why have they got red with all the blue units? That doesn't quite match, does it? Right, so electronic equipment for the kitchen. Let's have a look. So that's the toaster. Well, the one we've got's red, isn't it? Yeah, and the coffee maker's got red as well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I feel like they should have blue. I feel they should be blue. Why are they red? Everything's blue, look. Okay, do you know what? I think we're going to have to buy new ones because I think the red's just going to annoy me. So, we want a microwave. 
and a toaster and a coffee maker definitely and we want a blue so we could go for white blue blue let's go for blue which is a little bit brighter than the cabinets I think maybe or is that the same Do we want to swap the fridge? So I could go for white or we could go for black. What do you think? Do we keep the one we've got? No, I think we keep the one we've got. Um, right. Lost track, what was I doing? Oh yes, microwaves and um, coffee makers. Okay, where's the microwave gone? Oh, there's the coffee maker, and we wanted it to be blue. Okay. Ooh, well, that's a bit big. That's definitely going to have to go. Oh, I see why they've got it there and they've got it angled now. Yeah, it's definitely red. Let's get rid of that and that, and then we'll put the coffee maker over here. And I think we will have to angle it probably because I think it's it's huge. Look how big it is. Right, so it definitely needs to be angled. All right, turn the lights aren't good that's much better does that have lights that turn on no all right we still haven't found the microwave which was the initial thing we were looking for there it is oh is there really only one wow there is only one right we have no choice there is only one and we want one so we are going to have that one Ta -da! right there we go those are the three things we said we wanted I kind of feel like with all this counter space that we need something else in here as well. So let's have a look. Kitchen accessories. Oh, the bottles light up. Why did I not notice that before? Let's put a couple of those there and then let's turn them on. On, on, on. Oh, look at that. They light up. That is crackers. Okay. Do the cans light up then as well? Oh, I'll have to look for that and try that now. <laughs> So you can match them to your like, colour scheme and light them up. That's interesting. I didn't realise the lid up. How did I not see that the first time? Okay, we make new um, discoveries every time, don't we? Oh, I think this video is going a bit long as well. Oh, let's see if we can finish off the kitchen and then we'll cut and come back for the other half. Tequila bottle, look at that. Look how cute that is. That is crazy. Turn around. Oh, look at that. That is kind of cute. An adorable tequila bottle, that's crazy too. Oh yeah, those are the cans. Alright, I've got to buy a couple, see if they light up as well. No, I don't think they do, do they? <laughs> oh, this is all crazy, isn't it? Right, what else do we want in here? Do we want anything else? Maybe some cooking utensils. Yeah, let's go for the rack. What colour to leave it in the sort of standard metallic -y and put it near the cooker. Lovely. Hmm, quite a lot of blank wall over here. I feel like there should be something but I'm not sure what to put. There's some sort of geometric designs here weren't there? I wonder if we could do something with this on the wall. For the Layla like coloured wall decoration. That's kind of a geometric a little bit too pale. It's it's a pale blue though, maybe. See, it's not too not too stand out in your face, but it, it's quite nice. And then we've got this panelled hecken wall decoration. What colours can we do this in? We could maybe do it in a gold. I think the black might be a bit much. Kind of like the gold. What does that look like? We've put that in the middle. See, because then we've got decoration on the wall. I mean, it's not too crazy bright, but oh, are they in a, in a line? I think we need to adjust that a little bit. Is that, is that better? Yeah, that's better. I should think that one needs to go down a tiny bit, yeah. Lovely. Oh, that's quite nice because it's just a small added decoration. So I think that's the kitchen done. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!